good, good. Will we see another hero into the ring is definitely a pretty good question we got from Titan Killer Field. That is a good question. I'm curious, however, I'm hesitant to say yes, because I know that the one reason Thugnificent really does pull out the, that uh, hero in the Roy is really to just try and counteract his owner characters. Um, similarly, like to Mega Man and some others, it's kind of like just his secondary that he feels works a lot better against those archetypes. And there are times where he does kind of keep the Bowser or the K rule in. But I think that for the most part, it's just one of those things that he's trying to keep separate. He doesn't want to keep the Bowsers, Bowser and other heavy characters with that heavy archetype. So we might see K rule or Bowser. Yeah. There it is. The Bowser is out to play, everybody. We saw Co King Koopa piloted by me uh, <laughs> uh, the other week with Devils. And that was. <laughs> that was Nowhere pretty near wild, as, yeah. It was wild. Nowhere near as talented as uh, Magnificent is the character, though, so it'd be really interesting to see how he does. Off to the races with that up B. Not getting it, though. The jab block coming out. 84% on Doug Nipson so far. Nice gap attack, though. Goes for the flaring breath. The platform stopping it. And uh, saw this not going up to counter it. Nice grab. Gets the forward air. Nice confirm. Doesn't get the second one. Nice down air, though. Counters that completely. Nice forward tilt, too. I like it. I like it. Ooh, it gets the Bowser bomb. That's a lot of damage. Oh, and losing his stock off of that. I wonder if he didn't have his jump. Because he did get hit in the air. Uh, possibly thinking once he got hit on the ground, he might have had it back and just did not. Nice drag down with that back air. Nice with the up air read, getting that DI read, knowing that uh, so all of this will try to switch up the forward air DI, and that time, just knowing that he can get it, goes for the upper instead just for the extra damage. Nice up smash, but saw, uh, oh buddy aware of that. Oh, and the upper hitting him again. And then Nair, falling Nair, I can't believe that was the option he chose. Really great way to mix him up too. But losing his stock off of that down smash. Unfortunate. Nice down B from Solace. Mixing up the pressure. Forcing a different idea out of it. The up smash not connecting. Tries to go for down B. <laughs> Smashed to that option. The X that follows and hits nothing. Magnificent has to reset here. Ooh! Okay, he's able to make it back. I was like, that can't be the way the stock ends, man. And there's the Bowser Bomb. Gonna kill off the platform off the top. Nice work, nice work. Doug Nipson has to get away from these these Yoshi attacks. The amount of combo potential against him is huge, but with Bowser's rage, man. Scary situation. Uh-oh. That's it. Ooh, Solidus. With the uh, OTG. Looking pretty solid himself out there. <laughs> Getting that jab lock at the end, man. That was that was great. All right. What a great option. Adjustments. What's the Magnificent going to go with next? I think he's going to stick with Bowser. And I, th I say that because Bowser, like, I think he was doing good. It was just that first stock man just got a bit away from him. Magnificent was just making a couple miss inputs, a couple mistakes here or there that kind of caused Yoshi to just do what he does and get that brawler punish style that we that we know that is so similar to uh, Solidus. Yeah. I think what we needed to see some more of is some more of that really good neutral we saw kind of like in that middle percent of that first stock. 
but carried over through the whole game because he was doing good pretty much the whole game and then we saw a couple instances of where uh down b was being mashed and some other options that uh just didn't come out and i think if solace is just able to keep his head cool uh slow down when he needs to as well as continue to get the confirms he knows he can get he can get right back into this game because i think that that game was closer than it looked i just think that solace or uh magnificent rather needs to prove it for himself but we will see do you happen to know if they're doing stage selects in uh I'm the looking Discord? now and it looks like they are probably handling that and uh they are handling it off uh off screen or in private message rather. seeing any discussion so we're gonna end up finding out with them in just a second this is one zero going into game number two of a best three out of five three, yep two, one, go. here it is we're gonna find this nation bowser loves this stage man and i think for him here if he can get it off to a good start this is gonna do very well for him Not ready, Yoshi man. Doing what he does best and getting that crazy amount of damage. Four there from Thugnipson. Oh, goes for the forward tilt read. Doesn't get it. Does not go for an upper there. I'm surprised. Might just have to respect Bowser's um, down air privilege. With that down air, he gets invincibility. Goes for the forward smash. Doesn't get that either. Both of these characters are very well. Like, nice down air. I mean, that's the thing about Bowser. You have to be very careful about being underneath him. You have to respect that space, which is what we've been seeing uh, Solidus kind of do a lot of. And now we've been seeing um, Solidus really kind of showing the cracks and Magnificent as soon as he started to see them he's been aware of it he's been ready for it and that time he got it there it is again nice little clink me armor and that's the patient I was talking about before this game had started solid or uh Magnificent just needs like not a lot of patience like he doesn't need like seconds of patience he just needs like a couple extra frames maybe a second at most and already we're right back into this game even Stevens Solidus Trying to get this damage rack up back up again, but uh, Thugnipsen wasting no time. Keeping this lead so far, nice back air. Flame Breath coming out. Nice parries. No no grab. Ooh, the, the weak hit of, of the Nair. And it stopped the side B. Oh, that was so clippable. He parried the first hit into up smash. And since up smash has invincibility, he was able to do that. That was amazing. I'm actually trying to go. I'm flipping over to clip that now. <laughs> that was so good. Oh my goodness. Oh no, he gets. Oh, he gets that smash. With Magnificent with that amazing, amazing parry to up smash. Oh, okay, that's. That was really good. Tries to go for his own down smash. Doesn't get it. Goes for Raftel. Again, doesn't get it. Gets back to ledge. Retreats. Oh. Gets the up beat. Just the last hit, though. Has to stay on the stage. You cannot allow Yoshi to keep you off stage. Oh, shields it. Oh, no. It gets it down. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, he's able to make it back. Gets the down the death attack. Yo. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so dangerous. 
He had to let go of his shield there. He just had to trust that he wouldn't die. But this time, he does. Thug oh, my goodness. That was Paying so out clutch. Out there. Let's catch the instant replay on that. That was just so good. Thugnificent Man really turning that around at the end there with that parry up smash, as well as the um, Bowser side B grab that was so important to get there because Bowser has his win conditions. He has his up tilt, he has his up throw, forward throw, uh, a lot of grabs. And Bowser really is a grappler character. And with Thugnificent, he knew he had to get that win condition. Tried it a couple times, then waited it out until that last stock and was able to just perfectly time it on FD. And that's why FD is such a great stage for Bowser. He has so much room to work with with those grabs, with forward air for edge guarding, flame breath for ledge guarding. And I think for Solidus, what we need to see from him now is I honestly think just get away from FD. Don't go to Northern, <laughs> it's very similar to Kalos. And that's another good Bowser stage. Go back to a stage with platforms so that you can kind of platform camp Bowser Maybe consider picking uh, Battlefield if it's not banned. I bet it is, just because Bow like that's just a hard stage for Bowser. Um, but at the same time, I can see it working out. We will see though. I'm very curious to see what happens. Yep, and it looks like they've continued their conversation about these things. And. Um... Yeah, it looks like they've continued them in private chat. And oh, it looks like we might have a character swap. Let's take a look real quick. There he is. And there's the monster that we all know and love, the Heavy Destroyer himself, Donkey Kong. And on his favorite stage of Small Battlefield, the Ding Dong is possible, keep that in mind. So on this stage, at higher percents, DK can do cargo throw, which is forward throw, jump on platform, up throw, and there it is, the Ding Dong. Look at all these up airs, man. Oh my god. And I think that was Solidus. His Bowser, or his DK rather, is very, like, flowy. So he's very, he's going to be very flexible with, like, the type of things that, um, Oh Buddy is throwing out here. And I think that that's kind of what he's looking for. He's looking for a very flexible match. He doesn't match. He doesn't want to try and worry about or want to respect a lot of Bowser's options. Oh, what a great idea! Magnificent, completely evening the playing field here. Going for the taunts, respectful. Yeah, you got me, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just one of those things that you kind of have to respect. Like, you might be asking yourself, why would the Magnificent throw away a whole stock instead of going for some sort of, like, counter? And honestly, the reason is just because he was in a bad spot. Like, he was at high percents. And when you're playing against a character that's as, dem dem like, crazy as DK is against heavies, you kind of just got to take what you can get. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Thugnificent go for something like that again, but that's if uh, Solidus ever gives him it. It's gonna be hard to get another grab. Be patient. Okay, gets the flame breath. I was gonna say, if he just got up in that. Oh man. Ooh, gets it. Nice work. Keeping this even, this is this is scary. Ooh, goes for the forward of the up tilt kill, wow. Didn't think it would kill, I guess, I guess not early, but it was interesting. Let's see what Bowser can do here. Oh, goes for up smash. This is gonna be spooky. Oh, he gets the back here, nice. Rolls in, gets the up tilt, they're both going for up tilt. And DK loses stock there to the side B, that win condition, man. Bowser at 59, probably can live here, but DK is just one of those characters that really they just beats the heck out of crap, uh, heavies. Bowser, man, it, it, like, this is one of those weird matchups that just exist. And it's so interesting, but it, at the same time, it could look very even. Because Bowser himself, like, if you're playing well, like, you're just, you, you just might not lose to DK. Because yeah. you yourself are just, you're a grappler heavy. Both these characters are very similar, they just work very differently in what they do. You can't hold in there, be careful. Ooh, kind of some spaghetti going out. Ooh! Oh, the double there! 
Oh, he gets the win condition. That's oh, it. Oh, and there it is. The wow. Magnificent <laughs> going up 2-1. Trying to make his way back to uh, Grand Finals. This reminds me a lot of a, of a uh, match from Smash 4 that was very popular. There was uh, two really good players, Nairo and Tweak, and they played a Bowser um, Donkey Kong match very similar to this, uh, similar stage picks and everything. Small Battlefield didn't exist, mind you, back then, so I believe back then it was Battlefield. Yeah. But it was just as entertaining as this. This is just so fun to watch because when you see two players that um, they kind of, they both understand the matchup, they both understand uh, the way they should be killing their opponents, but they're also very good at getting away from both of each other's win conditions. It makes for a very hype set, and right. I'm all for it. This is so fun. All right, Thugnificent going up 2-1 against Solidus right now. And uh, once again, let's take a look back at the bracket, see where these guys are trying to head to. Um, Thugnificent took a 3-0 loss early against BW Styles in winners' finals. He's fighting to try to see if he can avenge that loss. Meanwhile, um, Solidus has had a little bit of a different adventure over in Losers, taking a 2-0 victory versus uh, Silent Nalu, taking a win against Peter J. And then, of course, starting off with something that probably was pretty exciting to watch between him and Just Doki. Nonetheless, both of them are here now. So let's see if they're able to wrap up going through stage selections again. So we'll see in just a second how these guys decided to go through on that. And now we go. We've got Donkey Kong Dittles going into this. I got a feeling somehow you knew that that was coming based on the look on your face right now, Terry. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I they sent me a message both of them they're like we're gonna bring an extra Donkey Kong and I was like I'm pretty sure I know what this means but I don't I don't like where this is going <laughs> and we're getting the double DK man and I love to see this it's just chaotic and it, it's Donkey Kong man so you're gonna be seeing very similar stuff from both players lots of forward aerial um, lots of spikes just because both these oh, oh no the footstool hmm just to get started. Yeah, just like just a way to, and there's no Bowser side B to help him out this time. Not that it would really help because that trade is just <gasps> unfortunate. Both players go with that forward air again. Oh, the the parry tries to do parry up smash, but you are not Bowser. Oh no. The up tilt is coming out to play today. Oh, the oh my god, I can't believe that claim. <laughs> oh, goes for down smash. Oh, yes, get him out of there. All right, tied 2 2. Rolls through. Up tilts were coming out. Goes for forward air. Boy Studios, thank you so much for the follow. Boy, unfortunately, we're in losers finals right now. We got started somehow. Where's it go? <laughs> oh, nice forward there. Oh, buddy, looking to take out this uh, Solace with his own character, man. Both DK's at their last stock. This is crazy. Let's see what DK can do here. Which DK am I talking about? Honestly, I have no clue. I just want to see a DK do something real quick. Oh, and it looks like uh, Solace is going to take the initiative. All that damage at 91%. Goes for dash attack. Gets the four there. DI's in is Solidus. Solidus on platform right now. Ooh, gets back here to his old buddy. What's he gonna do here? Recovers low, does not want to get forward aerial. Nice. Oh, goes for the up smash, does not get it. Fade back. The armor saves him there. Be careful, be careful. Oh! 
That's gonna hit him off stage. He's gonna be in this edge. This is a, ma a max rage Donkey Kong. Oh, the backer! Oh, wow, you can't. Oh, buddy. Going up 3 1 on that one. Let's catch the instant replay. Wow. And all of this, both players were just so close into this. And think of it this way that rage really helped out. That back throw was exactly what Thugnificent needed to get that win condition in. And I can't believe that kill. I think it was just Max Rage and the fact that Solidus himself was at 100%. Might have been some SSDI. I don't know. I'm not sure how. I know I know for a fact I've died uh, to DK back throw at not too large a percent. It's like, it's a good throw, especially when you're like at the most perfect spot to do it, right at ledge. And I think Solidus might have been surprised himself, which is probably why he lost his stock um, if it wasn't due to DI. Yeah. Um, it was just due to sec circumstance. And this is a rematch now we're going to be seeing in Grand Finals. Yep, versus BW Styles. Who, once again, I mean, I think one of the things I always love seeing is whether or not someone really has the juice to kind of come back and play someone that they lost to a little bit earlier and um, really kind of flip the other way. Because here's the thing, man. You got to really kind of think about this. He didn't just lose a 2-1, a 2-2 scenario. He lost 3-0 in that uh, winner's final set. So, you know, we're going to see in just a second if there was an adjustment to be made. I know that um, they messed around with the uh, with uh, Kazuya's a little bit earlier, but BW Styles yeah. is, is back at it, man. He is.